Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to download topographic maps like this from the online topographic map collections repository of the University of Texas. And to do this, we are also going to make use of the Google Earth application, basically to view the availability of the topographical maps across the globe and pick the right one that we might potentially be interested in. And right over here, you can see a map that I have downloaded already for the region covering the Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. And this map right over here is of Calbayog City of, uh, of the Philippines. So as you can see, these maps are quite detailed in terms of the contents. And these are basically printed versions of the published topo maps, which were then scanned and now made available via this uh, digital repository. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial and we'll see how we can download these kind of maps for an area that's of interest to us. So as I mentioned to you guys, this data is actually saved in this online topographic map collections repository of, of the University of Texas Libraries website. And if you scroll down just a little bit right over here, you can see that we have one option to download the topographic map indexes for the entire world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here and that should initiate the downloading process and the file that gets downloaded will be this us army maps v17 file this is a kmz file which can be read and opened using google earth pro so assuming that you guys have already installed google earth pro i'm going to double click on this file and i'm going to open this kmz file using google earth and once it's downloaded this is how it should look like as you can see over here we have quite a number of grids covering quite a large area across the entire globe and if you see right over here, you can see the different scales. Now the areas which are bounded by these small grid cells are corresponding to this scale, which is basically 1 to 250,000. If I untick this, you can see that that set of grids uh, gets disappeared. And uh, if we talk about scale of 1 to 1 million, you can see that that's basically referring to the grids uh, which are represented by this pink color. And as you can see, we have another level of coverage uh, with a scale of 1 to 2 million which are basically these uh, large grids. So you can narrow down your search simply with the aid of these checkboxes. And for my case, I'm going to deactivate all of these other options and I'm going to only activate these uh, maps which are at a scale of one to 250,000. And as you can see, when we narrow down the search, the availability also gets reduced. And after that, we can simply navigate to a place that's of interest to us. Let's say if I would like to download a map corresponding to this region of the Philippines. All I have to do is simply click over here once. You can see some sort of a notation over here. And that opens up this kind of a dialog box. And to view the map, you can either click on this map hyperlink that you can see over here, which I found to be a bit troublesome. So the workaround that I found was simply we can right click over here on this blue color map and we can copy that link and we can separately open up a browser of our choice after that we can simply paste that link like this and simply hit enter and just in a matter of few seconds you'll be able to view the topographical map like this and these maps are quite high in resolution for example if you zoom in you can see that it's quite detailed and you can scroll around like this to inspect the information and you can see the topographical contour lines along with this other information and if you want to save the file, all you have to do is simply right click over here and you can select save image as, navigate to your working folder and I'm going to name this as Davao City in Philippines and simply hit enter and you can see the downloaded topographic map right over here. It's getting downloaded as a JPEG file and when we are zooming in, you can see that we are not really losing any quality as these maps are quite high in terms of its uh, resolution, even though they happen to be scanned maps. All right, so before we conclude the tutorial, let me go ahead and open up Google Earth Pro once more, and we'll try to download another topographic map which corresponds to a different region. Let's say if I navigate to the east coast of the US, and let's say if you want to download this particular tile, all you have to do is click over here and I'm going to right click on this hyperlink and copy the link and I'll open up my browser, simply paste it and hit enter. And this is how that map looks. And this map particularly took a bit more long time than the others uh, just because of its size. 
as it's quite high in terms of its resolution as you can see over here. So again what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to save this image and I'm going to name this Wilmington and if I open up the downloaded map you can see this is how it looks. Alright guys so I guess that's about it for this tutorial and I hope the tutorial was quite helpful for you guys. If you did like the tutorial, don't forget to give it a like and if you would like to see this kind of interesting JS related tutorials on a weekly basis, don't forget to click that subscribe button as well and you'll get notified immediately as soon as we upload a new video on this channel. So I'll see you again in another tutorial.